And so eight days later, they're gathered together in the same room, all the disciples sitting there. They got the doors locked because these guys aren't brave champions of the faith. They're all hiding and scared for their lives, and they're all sitting up together. And then all of a sudden, Jesus walks through a wall for them. He walks through a wall for them, and he shows themselves to them, and he says, hey, Thomas, come here. Look at this. Go ahead, man. Put your finger right there. This is for real, Thomas. Hey, Thomas, like, look, right here is where they pierced me. Like, put your hand there, Thomas. This isn't a game. It's not a hallucination. This is for real. Place your hand here, Thomas. And Thomas, places his hands there, and for the first time from any of Jesus' followers, he exclaims out loud, my Lord and my God. He had been waiting. He had been waiting, and he didn't even know what he was waiting for for so long, but he had been waiting to see a God who would show up for him. He had been waiting to see a God who would not disappoint. He had been waiting to see a God who would give him new life and a hope that nothing could take away from him. And when that God showed up and said, touch this, my man, Thomas falls down. Come on, this is good news. And I'm preaching it well. He falls down, maybe, maybe, falls down and he says, my God, my Lord and my, it's you. It's you. You are what I've been waiting for. And my heart rejoices. Come on. You could be like Mary. Lord knows I have spent many a day just like Mary, blinded by the circumstances of my life and unable to see God through it. You can be just like Thomas, and Lord knows I have spent a lot of time being just like Thomas, afraid to trust God because I'm afraid it's going to lead to disappointment or because I don't understand the disappointment I've already experienced in my life. I have spent a lot of days like Mary and Thomas, but this God knows my name. And he steps through walls to show himself to me. This God is not dead. He's alive. This God offers me new life, a new day, a new hope, a new perspective. This God takes the sting of the deaths I've experienced of the people I love away from me. This God will take the sting of my death away from me. Because just like Jesus' story doesn't end with death, mine doesn't either and yours doesn't either as well. That's good news.